The other thing that um, that has been spoken about a lot is your combinations with Bernard Foley, uh, Israel Folau and yourself. And we've just got a little bit of footage and I, we'd like you to explain it a little bit. It's, it's uh, Israel Folau's first try. Just how you communicate with Bernard. Um, and so let's roll the tape. Here it is here. Just what are you doing? What are you saying? Is it just um, hand gestures? Is it a little nod or is it verbal yeah. communication here? Yeah, I think connection's key. Uh, Bernard's obviously my roomie, roomie throughout the week. So we get on really well and we've got a really good understanding of, of each other. And, and, and I know, I know what he wants for his out for, as, as an outside player here. So, so here what, you're looking for the defence, whether you've you got the space wide or whether they, they tighten up in defence, and then you just you, you communicate that through Bernard and also the forwards in front. Yeah, definitely. So it's just important that uh, you know whoever's in that first receiver role, that second playmaker is is behind this forward pad. As you can see here, I'm drifting at the back of these other forwards, yeah. being an option, being I'm a genuine constantly option. Constantly looking up to see what the options are out wide. And that's it. And just being that extra voice for Bernard. Obviously, he's got a lot to, to worry about in that in that inside channel. So if I can get that spark and that uh, that voice to him, um, and to, to be able to provide his role like this, uh, you know, some, some space out wide, we can, we can really take advantage of that. Merch, you're number 10, obviously. Um, you give a lot of calls to number 12, but as a forward, I found we used to get most of our calls off to number 12, especially under that dual playmaking role. Who was your best 12 that you played with? Oh, well, anyone who's verbal. At the end of the day, like, the 10 comes in quite often traditionally and calls the first phase play and, and kind of the shape and the framework. But then when it goes to second, third phase, your 10's the one looking at what, what the timing is coming out of the halfback. Yeah. And so the guys who were the most vocal and who just wanted to, you know, even if it was just hands, just give me the ball, give me the ball, or miss me, they were predominantly, I think, the main things that you got as a 10 in my day. I don't know if it's the same these days, KB, but is, is, yeah. what, what's your responsibility? When do you kick in and go, this is when I take ownership? Well, obviously, yeah, but having that dual playmaking role, um, it, it, it just allows me to kind of have that extra set of eyes out and then outside channels for, for Bernard and, and try and give him the right call at the right time. So then we're, we're unleashing to Kurundrani, we're, we're, we're unleashing for Lau, and, you know, these boys are, are you know, starved at balls at time. But if I can just get that, uh, get that chat in nice and early, um, you know, to Bernard, uh, whoever's in that 10 position, uh, then hopefully we can take that opportunity when it comes.